All right, if you would, go ahead and introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about you. Um, my name is Ben Buckaloo, also known, at, known as Neb the Well Cub. And... Tell us your school, your church. I go to Gunnersville Middle School. Uh, I go to Gunnersville Church of Christ. I'm in the eighth grade. About to come to high school. That'd be fun. All right. I don't really know anything else about myself. You want to go first this time? I will go first this time. Ben, um, first question we have for you, and it's a very important one, and it's a very powerful one that a lot of people are wondering right now, and that is how early is too early for a cheeseburger? Never too early. So, like, roll right out of bed, you could I go for the... I eat one whenever I want. Okay. Yeah. Have you ever eaten a burger for breakfast, by curiosity? No. Okay. But if you had a hankering for a burger, yes. you would do it first thing. Okay. Kurt? Name some people who probably think you're an idiot. Uh, David Wilson, Trenton Black, Noah Tuggle, Beth Buckaloo. Um, uh, a lot of people in youth here, just a lot of them. Okay, so some of the same ones we had for David yeah. Wilson. Um, it was the eighth grade dance this last weekend. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, we're taping this ahead of camp, but um, I want you to reenact the events of the eighth grade dance by mime only, so no words. You can stand up. You can stand up if you need to. If you need to pose for pictures, if you need to, if we need to slow dance it. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm, I don't know that I'm, I was gonna say I'm willing to come up and help, but I don't think I am. Um, Reenact the eighth grade dance as best as you can. It's gonna be too hard. There's no so parts I can't really do. I didn't do that. This is G-rated. Okay. So this is... I know that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know that. <laughs> this is... Uh, the eighth grade dance was apparently very awkward. Okay, yeah, so yeah. we're doing... Okay, we're doing our... Okay. All right. And there's our picture. And then, yeah. The Christian side yeah. is the I proper really way. I dance a lot. So okay. I just kind of stood there okay. the whole time. So I didn't really do So the eighth grade dance, yeah. dance has not changed since I was there yeah, then. So, so okay, that is good to know. <laughs> All right, Kirk. Uh... To whom do you currently owe an apology, and if you would like to apologize, there's gonna be like some that. Um, I really don't owe any apologies. Your sister, you haven't made her mad lately, or I make her mad all the time. I don't really apologize for that. Like, well, now's your chance. Is uh, Beth, I'm sorry for making you mad like all the time. So yeah. Okay. You can tell it's sincere too. Is the important thing. Um, obviously, we're in a room right now that you don't really have. Uh, anything that you could go to. If we had somebody uh, that kicked the door in, came in right now, uh, and you were attacked by somebody that was very angry, but they had no weapons, what would be your best plan for self-defense? Either You could use something in the room. Like, I could use something outside. You could, no, it has to be in this room. Either uh, you don't have those, a weapon. What's that? Those and throw them at show, pick it up and, and show our uh, friends. They are they're little watching. Do they're dominoes. Okay, and they're foam blocks. Yes, either go and throw those at them or just pick up the tripod and start beating the crap out of them. Okay, fair enough. Interesting that he didn't go for the wooden stool. Uh, but yeah, this also, I forgot I'm sitting on it. Yeah. Stool talk will do that to you. Could you describe to us a reoccurring nightmare that you have? Hmm. Or a nightmare, not this doesn't necessarily have to be reoccurring, just a nightmare that you've had. When I was little, I used to be Shark, so I'd be eating my sharks a lot. Cool. Um, I want you to recite the strangest thing that you've had to memorize or that you've currently memorized. Um, there's not a lot of strange things, but I, I usually have to memorize stuff for my mom too. I have to memorize, remember to get for her, so like I say it over and over to memorize to do it, because I used to just forget a lot and we'd always run out of milk. What are your top three restaurant prepared chicken finger baskets of all time? That's a good question. Yeah. Like just so all the people, want to, <laughs> so the people want to know. What was... um, hmm. Jefferson's is a good one. Okay. Um. Dairy Queen, I guess. Um, and uh, I almost forgot this one. Steak and Shake. Steak and Shake. Steak and Shake. I did not know that. Um, that one kind of threw me. Um, okay. 
serious question here. Several years back, Toby Keith wrote a song, God Bless the USA. You, you may have heard of it. A lot. Jonathan Anderson. Great song or the greatest song? One of the greatest songs. Okay, so <laughs> C. <laughs> um, when was your last high five and what was the occasion? Uh, at school today, I just randomly high five people. Okay, okay so fair enough. Um, how do spiders make your life less awesome? They're creepy and I just don't like them and there's they always do like spin webs in your room so there's like cobwebs and stuff everywhere so I mean you have to get do them in a haunted house, house. <laughs> no, just spiders. okay <laughs> when was the last time you had a puppet on your hand and what was the circumstance probably when I was sixth grade we were in the puppet room for some reason and I should put a puppet on my hand I don't remember why um, where were you, and you may be too young, but where were you when you heard that Steve Irwin, the crocodile hunter, had died? I have no clue who that is. Okay, so perfect. <laughs> um, I was at Ruby Tuesday in Scottsboro, in case you're wondering. <laughs> I don't know why I remember that. All right, complete the sentence. Blank looks surprisingly good in shorts. A person or just? Um, it's up to you. Yeah, this is still talk. Yeah. David looks surprisingly good in shorts. David Wilson. You'll be surprised to know that David Wilson's answer was also David Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> or, or maybe not so surprised. Um, what inanimate object do you consider to be a really good friend? That was kind of weird, but... Because the rest of these have been totally normal. <laughs> Inanimate object. My phone. Okay, so you can, that's, that's fair. Kurt's going to ask you one more, and then yeah. I'm going to ask you one more. All right, last one, and uh, I know that you're currently in the eighth grade, but we're asking this one to everybody. Okay. Can right now look at the camera and confess your eighth grade crush? I didn't really. I don't really have one. Are you sure? Yeah, I didn't really have one. Okay. If we're in church. You can't lie. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'll leave you with the camera. Uh, yeah. Um, last question, and again. These are very deep and probing questions, I realize, but uh, I want you to pretend that you've just organized a wiffle ball tournament, and then you've come back to us after you've uh, convened that wiffle ball tournament. Tell me your best memories of the wiffle ball tournament. Isn't that like baseball without ball? It's the plastic ball with yeah. all the holes in it. Tell me your favorite memories of the last wiffle ball tournament you hosted. When the player missed the ball and just fell on his face. Okay, that'll work. Yeah, oh, and uh, the last question, I did have a crush on one person for a little bit, Jennifer Jordan. Am I good? All right. Okay. Way to bring it back. Thank you. Way to, thank you for being on. Thank you, yes. I, That's I, our role. I just, just for a little bit. Sorry. Okay. okay, yeah, and yeah. All right, well, thank you very much, Ben. Um, we look forward to more of these probing questions uh, with our friends at Dolkalax Stool Softener. Yes, thank you. <laughs>